<laughs> What's so funny, Goggle? <laughs> I was just talking to my friend Bakar, and and <laughs> do you know what he said? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> he said that his computer has been infected by a virus and is not working properly. Can you imagine that? A sick computer. <laughs> Actually, your friend is right, Goggle. A computer too can be infected by a virus. Huh? What? A virus in a computer? But how is that possible? Goggle, you know that we humans get infected by viruses. Yes. I have already had a cold twice this winter. Similarly, computers also get infected by viruses. How's that? As far as I know, machines are not affected by viruses. Goggle, you know that all work on a computer is done by running software programs. Yes. Now think, what would happen if any software enters your computer and starts making multiple copies of itself? It would probably start taking up a lot of storage space and make the computer slow. Exactly, Goggle. A computer virus is actually a software program that has the ability to make copies of itself. It then attaches itself to other programs or files. Hmm. Now I get it. But Toggle, why do we call them viruses? Well, Goggle, you know that biological viruses enter our bodies and attack certain cells. Hmm. In the same way, computer viruses attach themselves to items such as the startup area or an executable file. How harmful can these viruses be to a computer toggle? It varies, Goggle. All viruses may not be destructive. Some naughty viruses may simply irritate you by slowing down your computer, while some dangerous viruses can erase data or corrupt programs on the computer. That's quite scary, Toggle. Hmm. But tell me, where do these viruses come from? Computer viruses are written by programmers to run them on computer systems without the user's knowledge. But why would a programmer do such a thing? These programmers release the virus either to have some fun by irritating you or to cause damage to your computer. They may also want to steal data from your system using viruses. Hmm. But tell me something. What happens to the viruses when the computer is turned off? Well, Goggle, a virus becomes inactive once the computer is turned off, as the virus is removed from the RAM. This means a virus is not active when the computer is off. Right, Goggle. Hmm. <laughs> so that means we can remove a virus simply by turning off the computer, right? No goggle. Simply turning off the system will not remove the virus, but merely inactivates it. It remains dormant in the files that it has infected. Once the system is turned on again, it becomes active again and will start copying itself to other programs and files. That's really horrible. How come we do not get to know when a virus is entering our computer? It is very difficult for a user to notice when a computer is being affected by a virus. Why is that, Toggle? Are these viruses very small? <laughs> no, no, Goggle. This is because a virus takes control of the computer system so quickly that one cannot notice it. Wow! And then? And then it makes copies of itself and tries to carry out the harmful tasks that it has been programmed to do. And you come to know only after your computer has been harmed enough. What kind of damage can a virus do on a computer? Lots of different kinds, Goggle. A computer virus can infect executable program files such as word processors, spreadsheets, and even operating systems. It can also infect disks by attaching itself to special programs on the hard disk called boot records. Oh yes, I know that boot records are the programs that the computer uses to start itself up. That's right, Goggle. A virus may have infected files that are attached to email messages or those that have been copied to disks and USB. In this manner, it can spread from one computer to another. 
Oh my! Recently, Vokas has used Sohail's USB in his computer. That might be how the virus entered his computer. Quite possible, Goggle. Is there any way to tell if my computer is infected by a virus? Oh yes, Goggle. If suddenly you notice that your computer is behaving strangely, like you notice frequent screen distortion or characters not appearing on the screen when typed, then it is most likely that your computer is affected by a virus. Okay, what else should I be aware of, Toggle? Goggle, a computer infected by a virus usually runs slower than a normal computer. Some applications may take longer to load or even may not work properly. You may receive unusual error messages on the screen. You notice changes in file size. You notice that the hard disk has more files than it had earlier. Vakash told me that he has run out of storage space on his computer. That may be due to the virus goggle. Also, a computer infected by a virus often freezes or stops responding. The computer may restart on its own or you may see distorted menus and dialog boxes. Phew! Having learned so much, at least now I'll be able to detect if my computer is infected by a virus or not. One thing that beats me, Toggle, is how these viruses spread themselves from one computer to another. Very simple, Goggle. Computer viruses spread from one computer to another by the transfer of infected data through sources such as emails and USB. Hmm, got that. But Toggle, how do these viruses start attacking the programs? Viruses become active as soon as you start an infected application or start your computer from a disk that has infected system files. Once the virus is in the computer's memory, it usually infects any application you run. Do all the viruses infect the computers in the same way? No, Goggle. Different viruses behave in different ways. Some stay active in the memory until the computer is shut down. Others stay active only as long as the infected application is running. Thank you, Toggle. You have taught me something very important today. My pleasure, Goggle.